All right, I'm Glenn Planto, and welcome to the Millionaire Real Estate Investment Club of Las Vegas. Thanks for being here this evening. How much time do I have left? Sabrina's got the cards in the back, so anybody that's speaking tonight, watch out, because Sabrina's going to be giving you the numbers. I got all night long. All right. Very good. Um, these are some of our contact information bits, nationalnewbuilds.com. The actual uh, meeting website is M-R-E-C-L-V. That stands for Millionaire Real Estate Club Las Vegas.com. We have an office up at uh, Northwest Las Vegas on Durango Drive. Office phone number's there. Um, rockandrollrealestate.com, that's a radio station up in the Bay Area that I've been on several times over the last couple of years. Uh, and they have archived shows on there. So if you want to hear some of the projects and things that I've done in the last couple of years, just click on that website and you can get on to archive shows and watch some of that. That's pretty interesting. And we have a folder. Everybody's got a folder in front of you? If I could borrow somebody's folder. Phil, can I borrow yours? We've got three things in there, just to take a quick look. One is the questionnaire. We're not getting these filled out. We really need you guys to fill them out as you go through the night because we want to know what we're doing good and bad and what other suggestions you might have. Second thing we have in there is the itinerary for this evening that's blue. And then we also have be our next presenter. We've got openings for um, sponsors and for people that want to get filmed beforehand. If you want to get filmed, we've had some people with great successes about three weeks after this event when Seamus and Shane, the camera people, wanted to get around to getting our stuff ready, they give it to us, we put it on the internet, YouTube. If you guys will click on YouTube, you can click on real estate clubs under videos. We've got seven of the top 10 hits on there. So the videos appear and they're getting a lot of hits. So that might be a good thing to do if you're interested in that. And it's only $200 for the sponsorship. And then we've got another flying by coming up for the project that we've been doing in Orlando, Florida. Uh, the hotel condo project priced at about 175000 It's been a very good project for us. We've got another flying by about a month from now. So if you're interested in any of that, just get with us. All right, so one of the things, where's Rich? Rich Warren, stand up for a sec. Rich Warren is one of the guys that's been here since the beginning. He's only missed one meeting so far, I believe. Is that correct? Uh, so we appreciate guys like Rich. One of the things that Rich said to me, I was talking to him a couple days ago, and he said, you know, one of the biggest parts to this meeting is the hour before the meeting, the networking, the marketing, the meeting other people. I know a lot of times, uh, a few months back, I met a young guy that came in and said he wanted to do um, fixers and whatnot, get involved with it. Well, Rich has been doing fixers for a while, so I really encourage people to come early and network and market with other people, and it's a good chance to meet people and find out, you know, where you're going and who's doing what, and good chance to uh, form some relationships that'll carry on. Uh, what's the what's the vision of the club? Uh, one, of course, is uh, other than networking and marketing, is to learn about trends in real estate. Now we talk about not just local things; we talk about national, we talk about international. Wolf's here today, or he's hiding. Uh, he's going to talk about Germany, which is uh, out of state, I believe. Um, we look at. Um, we have fun, obviously. You can see I'm up here having fun, and I encourage you guys to do the same. Oh, there he is. There's Wolf right there. He's trying to sneak by. Um, I want to give you a quick take, my take on real estate. And some of the guys that are in here, like the Sullivan Square guys, they're, they're going to appreciate this. Over the next five years, they're planning on building 40,000 hotel rooms in Las Vegas. That's a lot of rooms but behind City Center and some of these big projects going up. Each hotel room equates to about seven people needed. Uh, if you multiply that 40 times 7, you get 280,000 new people that are needed for jobs. Let's say we double that because maybe a family moves to town and the wife doesn't work, the husband does, or vice versa. So we're looking at a half a million people in the next five years needed in Las Vegas. So I know we're having a little downtrend as far as residential housing right now, but uh, obviously that will eventually stop when the builders stop building, which they're doing now because they don't have they're not permitting, nobody wants to buy. There's a lot of inventory out there. Once that inventory gets eaten up, things will turn around. I don't think they're going to ever go what they did before, but point is there's a lot of potential here in Vegas, especially in the next couple of years with foreclosures and whatnot. So I really think there's a lot of potential, and I just wanted to share that with you. Um, YouTube, we talked about the sponsorship. We've had some people with great success, so anybody wishing to get filmed, see Sabrina. Sabrina's over there, if you haven't met her. Put the signs up, the five-minute signs. There we go. All right. All right. Some of these sponsors we've had in the past, we've had the MMA mortgage, the people that are uh, cutting your mortgage down to six, seven years. We've had 1031 people. David with IPX has been in. Home Tenders has been in a couple times. That's the deal where if you're a realtor, how many realtors do we have in the room, by the way? We've got about seven or eight over there and a few over here. <clears throat> That's the one that 
what they do is they, they more or less move somebody into your house and stage the house, and they live there. So you don't get any rent from them, but they pay all the utilities, and you've got somebody there living there for free. I did that with a home that I sold a couple months ago, and it sold very fast. I put it about 10% below market, and I get rid of it real quick. So things do move if you price them accordingly. Uh, American Family Insurance, Community Bank of Nevada. Grace was here last week talking about that uh, device that saves you energy. And then Stephanie's here. And Stephanie, where are you at? Come on up. You get two minutes, girl. Tell us a little bit more about Nouveau Riche. Uh, Stephanie, oh, she's eating. <laughs> Stephanie's our uh, education pro, so give us a quick rundown. 